All right, so slow flight. We would have done our Craig's checklist first. I'm in straight level, unaccelerated flight. I gotta slow down. So I go carb heat on, throttle back in a Cessna to 1700 RPMs. If I'm below 110, I introduce flaps one. Hold the airplane straight and level. Make sure I'm not gaining any altitude. As I come into the white arc, I go flaps two. I can go flaps three. At some point to hold my altitude without decreasing airspeed, I'm gonna have to apply power. Then I just hold it in, in slow flight. As I get slower than I want, say 50 knots, or I start to hear the stall horn or it starts to buff it, I lower the nose. So I'm pitching for airspeed. As I get too fast, I raise the nose. I introduce back pressure. Um, if I want to gain altitude, I push in power. If I want to lose altitude, I pull power. So I'm pitching for airspeed. I'm powering for altitude. As I want to get out of slow flight, all I do, it's the same process that I would do for a go around and also really stall recovery. So I'm going to go carb heat cold, full throttle. I'm going to hold the nose on the horizon. So I'm, I'm not going to be gaining any altitude. I'm going to let the airplane accelerate and start walking out the flaps. Flaps two, let the airplane accelerate, holding it straight level. Airplane is accelerating. Flaps one, let it accelerate. Flap zero, let it accelerate. Throttle it back to a normal cruise uh, power and then do a cruise checklist. Slow flight done.